Here it is. <laughs> Hello guys. Welcome back to welcome back to House of Cremel and welcome back to another vlog. And and this is our vacation anniversary vlog. Mm -hmm. So I know you guys saw us go on a date, little date weekend, <laughs> the uh, weekend close to the date of our anniversary, but we also had this trip planned. So we're super excited. It's a little late. We're supposed to um, take off at 11 or something like that, but we haven't boarded yet. So we're just sitting across from our gate waiting to board. Oh, yeah. Um, they just started boarding, so we'll see you in a second. All inclusive. I'm sorry if I mispronounce anything while I'm on this trip. We're not from but, here. But we're going to try to learn. So I'm going to do a short room tour because, surprise, I'm hungry. And um, look at Chuck. He looks so cute, don't he? <laughs> I'm going to do it real because the room tour is pretty easy. Um, and then we're going to go get something to eat at the 24 hour buffet that I hope. It's good. So, I'm gonna come out here to the front and start here. Uh oh, you can't see. So that's how we know our room to 2012. And then right on the left is the bathroom room. And then these two, this cabinet thing, are closets. So, I should probably wipe them handles down myself. Got some robes, oh, and some house shoes. Then, keep going. Thermostat is digital, something cool. The lights work in the bathroom. Got to put your hotel key in there, so pretty good incentive not to lose it. <laughs> this is our cleansing quarters. So on the left is a shower, waterfall showers in here, double sinks, and a tub. I'm thinking about using it at least once. And then keep coming in, and this is the room. I don't know how well you can, because the lighting is. <laughs> you are a guest, honey. So this is the bed. Couch, 
work of art sitting area TV some complimentary cheap liquor <laughs> I, we are probably not going to drink that, y'all. I don't know. They got a bar outside, too. Uh, this bag is ours, too. And also, the stuff in this fridge is complimentary. A couple things. Got some sodas and water and some... Um, is Corona a light beer? Like is it? It's considered a beer, right? Yeah, it's a lager. A lager. Okay. Oh, they came out and left. Y'all stay gone. They go one right there. All right, and then we have this here. Gotta push it a little hard, y'all. Our patio, two simple chairs, you know. There's Chuck again. And, oh, these are, um, these are layout chairs, yeah. sun chairs. They just need to be turned over. I guess they got this so that the uh, rain don't get them. Oh, uh, there were towels on them. Mm -hmm. And this is our swim out pool area, which is one of the reasons we booked this place so we'll be out here soon right that was the room tour so now we're gonna go find some food yep that's important so we'll be back we'll be back Hello guys, it keeps getting foggy. They're playing volleyball back there. We're not. <laughs> no, we are not. But we are in the pool and it, the water is super warm. I just realized I got music playing so I might get copyrighted. So none of this might make it to the vlog. Maybe, we'll see. But I ain't gonna talk too much. <laughs> But maybe it'll just be music. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hey y'all. 
We just got out of the pool. Earth well, earth. really, we didn't just get out of the pool, but we just got out of the shower from the pool. Mm -hmm. Look at our mess up here. Oh, yeah. I wish I had a full length mirror so you could show us, <laughs> show the looks. But this is my dress. <laughs> Charles got a, got a cruise throwback on. Yeah, oh. my baby had to go buy some pants because the restaurant we go yeah. into. Uh, uh, you remember that time? Look at this pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you have to wear pants, long pants, and like, it had, like right. We would have. He didn't bring no pants. He bought our shorts, you know. But it's all good. They had a store on site conveniently, yeah. and Charles bought some pants, so we can go to the other restaurant. They pants, so they ain't hot. Right. So yeah. going to dinner. Let's go. Got all fruits. Nutritious fruits. And fruits. <laughs> yeah. Get up, get up. accessories and my perfume but I do have a couple things in my bag and I did wear these earrings so I guess it's gonna be super simple the entire time we're here we just got back to the room I'm kind of tired me and Charles are gonna chill out dinner was pretty good um yeah I think we'll share a summation of thoughts as we go like at the end of this video that probably be a nice touch but um charles went and got a little drink at the bar i'm so full so i couldn't drink anything else but you know there's always tomorrow we have tomorrow and i feel like we've been drinking since we got here we kind of have um but you know we're not like on the floor we got you know we had a nice little happy buzz so that's good enough for me i'm about to hang out with my husband and we gonna see y'all tomorrow um we're going on an excursion tomorrow and we're excited about that i just need to figure out how we're going to eat maybe we just need to eat a hefty breakfast and take some fruit with us or something i don't know I'm pretty sure they have they're not going to stop anywhere uh -uh. we just got to hope there's something there wherever we go i know when i went to chichen itza there was something to, somewhere to get something to eat but so maybe there'll be something like that for Tulum. If not, it's money to be made, so somebody do it. I don't know. All right, y'all. We'll see you tomorrow. Morning. We're headed to breakfast. <laughs> Getting ready for an excursion today. Going to the Miami rooms. Yep. To Tulum. Yeah. Tulum. Yep. And then we're supposed to go swimming a cenote. So. 
Are you excited? I'm excited. You look cute. We got a story to tell y'all, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> They have stopped um, including, well, in this particular tour, there probably still are some that include it. Uh, they don't include food. I have been a part of a tour in the past that there was like a whole buffet lunch included in it, but it was the Chichen Itza and it was at a restaurant that was um, along the way there. It was so good. So I'm excited to hear that we will be eating something. And hopefully it's better than everything at a hotel. Dinner last night wasn't, you know, it was cool. Breakfast, oh, I was like, mm -mm. So y'all gonna get a full review of this um, hotel after we, uh, at the end of the whole trip. Yeah. So, but for now, to mm -hmm. And we wear masks because we in the van with other people, so. <laughs>
have for the win today? Yes. I'm pretty sure it could be a lot hotter. We just love water caves. <laughs> you guys, I don't even know if you can hear me because I got my phone in this bag, but we're in a cenote and it's so, it was cold. I feel better now. Okay, I'm used to the water now. <laughs> yes. It's that whoa, okay. fell off a rock. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I say all the rocks are really slippery. I like relaxing in my life jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Charles chose to go sans left jacket. Ain't go too deep, though. He, <laughs> no, we're in like, it's like five feet. Five feet. And you know, I'm only about five feet, so. Uh, uh, six, six. Hush. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but no, we're having a good time. Yeah, fun. It was the Tulum, the ruins were beautiful. It was all really great, but it was so hot. Hot and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of walking. So if you don't like to walk, you better research your excursions before you come. I expected this, but also, not that I expected a lot of walking, but we did a lot more than I even anticipated. Most of it was because. I toured and drive up to certain gates and we had to walk to them. Uh -huh. We'll talk more about that later, but for now, we'll enjoy this. So no so no I'm 
Well, we're happy to be back in the room. I ain't to really brush my hair. <laughs> but I've been out in the sun all day and the fact that I don't look like a chia pet is already an accomplishment. But y'all, it is hot out there. Our excursion was beautiful and fun, but you gotta, <laughs> it, you gotta have a certain level of endurance when doing these excursions. Yeah. And I mean, you just do. Period. Even if you like, you just do. When you combine walking constantly, like nonstop for hours, mm -hmm. heat, like, and not just. I'm not talking about 75 degrees. I'm talking like 90 and above heat. Yeah. Um. <sighs> yeah. And you know, just... walking, and then you got. It was a lot of walking. Tulum was a lot of walking. Yeah. It was a lot of walking. Tulum was a ton of walking. to dinner hoping that it's good yep. got stories about the food too y'all <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go Unbeachable beach. Yeah. It's quite a shame. But I just kind of showed you why the beach is unbeachable. And um, let me just show you again. <laughs> that there is mounds and mounds and mounds and miles and miles of seaweed. Yeah, and it stinks. It definitely smells of seaweed. I think they are attempting to get it away, but I mean, the efforts are consistent, but they are 
so they seem futile futile i think that's the word maybe by winter <laughs> they will have this but you, you see that other seaweed back there just coming on in it seems to be an uphill battle i mean if you want to come here and just sit on the beach and look beyond that the water's beautiful there's boats out there just don't look here just look straight out of there Thank goodness out here, the um, cenotes are, not that there aren't inhabitable, inhabitable beaches, cause there are, mm -hmm. just gotta go to the right hotel that has developed it in the right way. Y'all see all the chocolate on Or a good natural beach, but um, but yeah, not this one, just no, <laughs> not this one. I think today we're gonna go to the mall and we have plans to go see, we're gonna see a Cirque du Show. Cirque du Soleil show tonight. I'm sorry if the wind is too loud. Um, yeah, we on the it is you know we on the beach still, but um, hopefully we can show you a little bit of what the Cirque du Soleil show looks like. I won't be showing that whole thing. We fully plan to and we fully plan to enjoy the show because it was not cheap. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, hopefully I can get you know just a peek, show you what that's like there. Um, I hear the venue looks amazing. I've seen a couple pictures, so looking forward to showing that too. And um, but yeah, I think we're gonna get ready to go shopping. We need to figure out how. We, I know how we're gonna get there, but we just need to figure out how we get back. It's probably a taxi line there too at the mall. Probably yeah, probably so. We can uh, talk. Maybe, to the, uh, I think there's a hotel around too. Yeah, we can call, talk to the concierge. All right, guys. We'll be back. See you later. <laughs> we miss spooky. We miss spooky. <laughs> we, we keep looking at, uh-oh, I'm blocking the camera. We've been looking at Bookie's daycare updates. You know, I still had an app, so I still get all the pictures and videos. So we just been looking at him like, oh, watch him be a little asshole when we get home. <laughs> it's okay, though. I'll take my little asshole. Asshole yeah. turn angel, it always oh, does. <laughs> so oh. beware if you have toddlers and you don't have kids here, just know. <laughs> Missing them is great. Yeah. Missing them is a part, it should be a part of the whole thing. But, um, you know, we still make booty. They still fickle. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Bye, seaweed.
we just got back to the room. We just had the best time out. <laughs> Be <my> love, <laughs> We found where we're supposed to eat. Yeah. And <laughs> drinks. So we went by the mall. It's a mall called Quintina Allegria. I will put the name. Hopefully I showed the name before this clip. But yeah. So I went there because I seen it. Um, I don't even remember where I saw it. I just knew there was a Forever 21 around there. And I decided, I was like, well, where was, where's the Forever 21? Because I'm sure there are other stores around there, too. Searched that, found them all, went to the area. There's a lot over there. Lots of shops. We even went to this Sephora-like store called um, uh, Ulta. What was the store called? I'll show you that to y'all, too. I was trying to find our bag. But, um, it was kind of like Sephora. They had Mac. They had all the fragrances there y'all if you going out of town make sure you buy your perfumes all your luxury items mm -hmm. out of town buy it duty free it is just it is could, it could be up to half the price that's all i'm saying yeah. so we had a lot of uh, we had fun we got some really good food at this really good restaurant <laughs> it was so good it was what i expected to come to mexico to eat um I haven't been getting that here at our all-inclusive resort, but you know, you just kind of, when you, I don't want to speak bad about the place because it's not bad. It's just that I think my expectations were in another place, but I really should have lowered them because also I know the deal we got. So I'll explain a little bit about that probably towards the end of the video. But so it's not that it's not a bad hotel or resort by any means. It's actually really nice, and you do get a ton of value for what you pay. Yeah. But with that comes certain things that you will probably not get um, here. But you can get it outside of here. Like there are places you can go um, to content to get that you know a quality experience. Like so, I would say if you just come into Mexico like for a short period of time, come in a shop, you come here. Yeah. You know, or if you come to buy a house, you know what I mean? Something like that. If you're not, it really depends on the purpose. We're about to relax. I can show y'all what I bought a little later, but we are so hot. We are about to get it. It's a perfect pool day outside. Let me show y'all what it look like outside. All right, so you can, uh, oh, oh, I thought our chair was pushed over. So that's our pool right on the front. Over the bushes is the common area pool, and that's where the pool bar and everything is. So, you know, we're gonna just hang out outside. Um, I don't know if you can hear the music, but there's music playing. And we're gonna go enjoy ourselves. This is our last evening here. And we're going to a show tonight. Told y'all we're gonna go see a Cirque du Soleil show and have dinner out there. So yeah, gonna enjoy the rest of the day in the evening. And um, I'll be back. Jesus Christ, don't drink and drive. <laughs> yeah. She's struggling right now. She's your ID, thank you. And it's two tickets to show dinner and champagne experience. Access will be at 550 for the wooden deck behind you. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Gracias. Don't get drunk before a show. <laughs> I'm struggling. Charles is also drunk, but handling it much better than me. Yeah, I'm not good right now. But thank you. So we're gonna see this show. Let's. Yeah, I don't have words. Then we just keep going here with. Yeah, so Okay. okay. Just look at what it looks like.
this is future Cremel and Chuck. This is about, what, a week after Mexico? Yeah, about a week, yeah. Yeah, we've been back for about a week now. And we wanted to just wrap this video up with just kind of a quick summary. So we're not going to hold you long. But I know we said a couple of things throughout the video um, that we kind of want to tie together just so you get a full picture of our experience where we stayed and things of that nature so without further ado we're gonna start with the resort okay <laughs> do you want to start this is a short video let me just all right yeah okay <laughs> we just tied it at the end <laughs> Anyway, we it, best resort ever. Um, you know that, no, now you waste the time. <laughs> nah, nah. Um, the resort was nice as far as the accommodations, the the room that we had. We had a swimming suite. Mm -hmm. Real nice. Um, it was right next to the main pool, so we had the pool bar right there. Um, it connected to an even bigger pool. Overall, the accommodations were nice. Um, the, the the actual place, the resort itself was nice as well. Right. However, dot, 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 <laughs> the food. Well, I want to go back to the resort itself for a minute. Uh, well, you asked me. I, I'm I did. Okay. We got, well, we'll talk, we're going to get to that part. But for me, um, I think that I have become just a tiny bit of a hotel snob. I, and I, part of it is because I used to travel a lot for work. And so I didn't exactly have to stay at like the Motel 6 or even like the Radisson. You know what I'm saying? Um, places I have definitely stayed before, mm -hmm. you know, but because a lot of my travel for work allowed me to stay in places that, um, that my grandmama wasn't gonna pay for with me growing up. And to be honest, before I worked, I wasn't traveling a whole, whole lot. So, yeah, so that part of me just kind of grew because of those experiences. And for that, because I don't want to sound like a jerk, to me, the hotel was like, it was decent. Mm -hmm. I want to say the resort was built around 2016, maybe. And I think it was probably the bomb in 2016, but I just feel like there were a couple of things that they just didn't keep up with, like small details that only maybe a person like me would notice and be like, mm, they hadn't touched this part in a while, maybe they need to paint this here, because all of those small things kind of add up to a larger visual experience for me. So, if I had the if you look at the pictures and the videos, it might look like you at a four, five star place, but not really. Um, but there are four to five star features in the resort. So all in all, do I recommend staying there? Yes, because um, for the most part, it is very clean. Um, didn't smell or anything like that unless you mm. went to the beach, if you saw that part of the video, uh, the beach. But um, I just felt like some parts were, weren't as kept as others. I felt like some parts could have been a bit more deep cleaned, like just details, um, those types of things. But we have bed bugs, our room was clean, our linen was clean, the beach towels were a little bit questionable for me. Yeah. Um, no question. But, uh, yeah, and then some of the stuff just comes with going to Mexico. Like, you probably saw a cat run across the screen. There's cats, lizards. A uh, Mexican raccoon. That's what they kept calling me. You called it an anteater. It did look like an anteater. <laughs> it looked, but it's probably more, a bit more furry than an anteater because it had a very long, like, mouth and nose. So that's why I called it an anteater. But there's just wildlife and certain bugs that just come with going to Mexico. I'm pretty sure that some larger chains probably work to keep that out but you know but like the swim like chuck was saying the swim out um patio to our own pool was super cool just all inclusive the idea itself was super cool and there was some very cool architectural details that i mm. did really enjoy that i highlighted in this video so sorry just wanted to get my pov 
Tasha, you know, she told me not to talk long. Anyway, <laughs> I did. Now, back to Chuck's point, the one thing that neither one of us liked about the hotel, the resort, was the food. It was like lustre. There were there were some things that were okay. Like my steak the first night we um stayed there, it was a pretty decent steak. Was it the best steak I've had in the world? No. But it was decent. It was absolutely more than edible. Mm -hmm. And I think your chicken tacos, you saw some like rolled up fried chicken tacos that Chuck they were had. Good. That they were pretty good. good. Mm -hmm. Um but like the salad was I was just kinda like, uh the guacamole. I don't know if there were real avocados if I, maybe half of it was avocado. That I don't kind of know. Tomatoes that they have, they were really pale. Like, they were super <laughs> pale, but it's like it wasn't even the color for me because I will say not all tomatoes are super like red. That mm, comes from like GMOs maybe. I don't know. But they just didn't taste right. Like they just didn't taste like we should be eating them yet. <laughs> and they said, "Hey, salsa." <laughs> right, and it just, it felt very mass produced. It didn't look like they went and chose the ingredients well to, you know, that's part of having a good meal. And I mean, you know, look, my husband is Chuck. This is, he got taste. This is Mr. <laughs> I'm used to eating really good food, not just outside of the house, but inside of the house too. Oh, they talk, baby. So. <laughs> that's at the time. You're gonna look away. <laughs> But no, the food, I was hot. Now, no, mm -mm. I didn't like Even it. Even the, the, um, like the snacks, like the food they had in between, like at the buffet. How you go to Mexico and eat stale tortilla chips? Yeah, they were stale tortilla chips. I didn't understand it. And then they, they were, but so I, I guess it was that type that they used there because they tasted yeah. that way every time we went to <clears throat> eat them. So I just was like, I just don't like this kind of tortilla chip. It was super hard to, and super thick, but not crunchy. It was just, yeah. Yeah. Hot dogs, hamburgers. Hot dogs, hamburgers in the in-between times during the meal at the 24 hour buffet. I think the steakhouse did lunch, but we never ate lunch at the ste nah. steakhouse. We only ate dinner there. Uh, then they had other restaurants on on the premises, so they had like mm -hmm. an Italian restaurant mm -hmm. called Bruschetta, Bruschetta, mm -hmm. um, Tao. It was another like French cuisine restaurant there, but the menu didn't really do it for me. No, I was but, based uh, on the way everything else had tasted so far. I just yeah, didn't kind of trust it. Out with, like, mm. So, but we did eat at the Italian restaurant. It was okay. It was decent. Mm -hmm. um, but my lasagna was given very much Chef Boyardee, so I didn't eat a lot of it. But the mushroom soup that you saw, it probably looked like baby caca. <laughs> yeah, like piece of bread on top. It actually tasted pretty good. It actually tasted pretty good. Baby caca. Yeah. But no, it looked bad, but it actually tasted pretty good. Um, there was a lobster meat pizza. Watch your lip right there saying, so I don't hit the camera. Um, it was okay. Like, it was just like, mm, it wasn't terrible. Put lobster on the pizza, you know? Look at that squirrel. Anyway, um, so yeah, we say all that to say, don't stay here expecting to get a, a, okay, I'm gonna try to get some credit here. <laughs> There's this one restaurant we didn't go to, they had a towel there, and it was basically hibachi though. Mm -hmm. And we heard from some friends that stayed at this resort prior to us also that that was the best restaurant there. Um, we didn't eat there, but they did and they said it was really good. So if you do stay there, you have towel, maybe. Breakfast wasn't even like that great to me, except the tostadas lady. Yeah, so the, there yeah. was a bag, there was, when we were at the buffet, breakfast buffet, there was a woman frying up fresh tostadas and tostada like things <laughs> each day that those were good. Yeah, they was in the cut, like in the right. back, with the juice and stuff in. Right, so I would recommend those. That's where you go. Now, the rest of it is on you. Right. So, I mean, like I said, there were definitely beautiful parts about the resort. There are some things that I felt like could have been better, but overall, 
the for the price that we paid to stay there it absolutely aligned to it was the yeah. experience so and we met some pretty dope people while we yeah, were there yeah, we did. so we did. it was super cool next yeah. we're gonna talk excursions <laughs> Pick it off, go, go. So the first excursion we did was the one in Tulum. You probably heard us talk a little bit about it, but ooh, y'all, prepare, prepare, prepare. It's probably I don't even think it's less hot in December. It was hot, but it was so hot. We went to the Tulum, um, the Mayan ruins in Tulum. It was super gorgeous, though. Yeah. yeah. But um, one thing I will say. There are several people or companies that you can go with to book these very same excursions. Look at the details. If it doesn't cost a whole lot, like I think I paid $36 per person for our um, excursion. And it, we did it, we went to the Tulum ruins, Mayan ruins, and we also went and swam at a cenote. Um, I felt like it was a great deal, but I think you have to have a certain license to drive up to certain gates. Um, so they kind of treat it like a park in a sense. And our tour operator, we kind of parked really far away from that gate. <laughs> and so walking through the Tulum ruins is already a lot of walking. It's already a lot of walking, but to add that walking, to us having to get there was a lot. And it was, it was like hot. I said, it was super, super hot. Fortunately, along the way, there were places to like buy water and get a little food. Also, be mindful of that because your tour operator is going to take you where they have relationships. Oh, they cousins. They cousins. Not necessarily a place like, she didn't say nothing about Starbucks not being that far from Tulum, which I would like to know. Just look at my face the whole time. <laughs> just keep talking. Just look, I'm just saying, but she took us to this you. taco shake. Then y'all, I, I got so excited about those tacos and they were not good. She was like, oh, they're going to be authentic ta tacos and Carmel like, yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, and then the food came. Nope, and that's See, all I'm gonna say about that. And y'all, I have eaten in both Charles and I have been to Mexico before. Um, I had some before excellent, we... authentic Mexican food. So have I. Here I in went Atlanta. Out... <laughs> it's not Mexican. I know, but I'm just saying, yeah. like, it's been. <laughs> but I'm saying in Mexico. In Mexico, have I've had authentic Mexican. Mexican food. Yeah. And it's like when you, you get some stuff like that, and I'm thinking, you go to a taco shack. It's in the middle of whatever this is. Was it like a little city? Mm -hmm. Something. You know, oh, it's got to be it. People pulling up eating it, and it's like, oh, who made this? Yeah, like, why? it was like, really a challenge. It was overpriced. It was extremely it overpriced, was just, it was, and yeah. it just wasn't good. And when I say good, we're not even just talking about taste. We're talking quality, too. It was yeah. just, yeah. So... Yeah. Like I said, manage your expectations as far as that goes to, um, and just kind of be on the lookout for that. Now, I would recommend booking through Best Day for most um, excursions if you can, because they seem to have it like pretty buttoned up. They usually have a bus um, with air conditioning and a lot of the good, the connections that you need. If you had experience otherwise, just let me know. I booked our excursions this trip through a site called Viator and it's not just for Mexican excursions if you're going anywhere like Aruba or anywhere that there's an excursion um, they have created that website to kind of pull them all together but just try to read the details and um, when you are booking if it only costs $36 and you feel like the deal is great ask yourself why because there may be some small things that you would have paid an extra ten, twenty dollars for that you would um, appreciate in the long run. That's all. That's why I say that. It's not that we had a bad experience because we actually had a pretty good experience aside from the walking and the heat. From like she wasn't responsible for the heat. <laughs> it yeah. was just hot and humid at the same time. Um, but the swimming in the cenote after really helped a lot. Except it was so cold. You go from being in a hot, hot sun to swimming in like a cave and underwater water is, I mean, I guess it's just cooler. It's cold. It was nice. 
it, it, but nice. it was so nice once our bodies adjusted to the temperature. <laughs> so it was a nice swim, though. definitely a nice swim. Probably one of the highlights of the trip. I jumped in there. One you time. did. Y'all saw that. They saw it. Oh, you did. I showed it. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, excursions just read for the details. One of the I call it excursion because I booked it on the website that houses excursions. But we went and saw a Cirque du Soleil show that I what I, I believe is exclusively out in Mexico right now. Maybe they I, I have I don't see where it's showing anywhere else. But yeah. it was called Joya J O Y A, and it was such a good experience. Now this is that a situation where we did splurge, <laughs> cause it was a, the choices were like, <laughs> is it eat dinner or watch? Or watch. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't want to be sitting there, and then I want something to drink. And there was a bar there though that mm. we could have gotten up and gotten a drink at, but um, you know, you just never know what you're up against. And we decided that we would go for the full experience, so we got dinner which also came with a bottle of champagne and um we didn't we didn't there was a front row option to purchase and i guess that just kind of solidifies you being in the front row but mm -hmm. we didn't buy that option but we ended up sitting front row anyway yes and it was amazing so if you are going to mexico and you're staying near the playa de karma area or even in cancun i think that you can probably get there but it's a bit of a drive um, highly recommend going to see the Cirque du Soleil. Sorry, y'all, it's a squirrel on my patio and I keep seeing it right here. That's why I keep looking to the left. What's his name, Gilbert or something? I don't know. I don't know but... <laughs> but yeah, highly recommend going to see the show, especially if you've never experienced Cirque du Soleil before. It this was, was nice. our first experience with Cirque du Soleil, period. <clears throat> We've, it Ooh, comes to our right. city and I've been to Vegas a number of times and have never gone to a show. And yeah. Now I'm like, I want to see more. Yeah. So. <laughs> and I mean, the, the whole experience there, so Cirque du Soleil was dope. Even from the Yeah, I don't know that they have dinner experiences for every Cirque du Soleil show. I don't think like, that. I've never heard anybody say that. So I was kind of, that was a pretty nice element that they added. It was very much tied into the theme of mm. the show itself. So. Like, even the small details. Like, it was, it was. Great, great performance. And great the food service. tastes good. It, really it tastes good. so good. Yes. We enjoyed it. Yes. And then we went to the other, um, well, I won't get it yet. I was going to say, talk uh -huh. about the restaurant. Oh, we can talk about that. So Cirque du Soleil is good. Go if you're ever in Mexico near that place. But earlier that day, yeah, we went, we got away from the resort and uh, Coco said she wanted to go shop. She wanted to go shopping. Uh, <laughs> but then we went to this mall area called a cab. I don't know where the mall was. It was like the mall is called. I put the name in the vlog too. Ken, Quinta, Quinta Alegria. It was. I saw. I posted the name. Translated in the vlog. for ten minutes away from the hotel. Yeah, it was. It wasn't <laughs> far from our resort at all. Mm -hmm. It wasn't far, but we had a good. We um, went shopping. Man, we found some of the best. Uh, deals on um, perfume and yeah, well, perfume, the puff, or the puff of fragrances, guys. <laughs> so we <laughs> the fridge the why? <laughs> hey, but now we went there. So the mall had a lot of cool stores, mm -hmm. and they had like a. I think I talked about this in the vlog already, but they had like this Sephora like store or Ulta Beauty if you shop there, but um. They had a lot of fragrances, like high-end fragrances. They did. They had a lot of skincare. They had a lot there. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. But um, the here's what we're getting at. When you purchase those things, and you know that they're legit, because you know don't be just buying stuff off the street because you don't know if it's real or not. Out there. We'll get there. But um, <laughs> right, shoot, that in New York too. But no, I'm saying you go somewhere, you know it's legit. You can buy the stuff that you really love duty free, and this means it could come at a pretty significant discount. I'm talking like, I think we. How much? We probably paid about two hundred dollars for fragrances that are like three hundred to four hundred dollars. 
yeah. him and Aisha. The so, real deal. And they were the actual, like, the it's real the real thing. stuff. So, like, I mean, they probably still at the airport, too. Long story short, though, if you have the opportunity to buy anything luxury that you like and that you can legitimize um, it, overseas man. or in an international setting, do, do it. it because it costs a lot less. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also bought we in uh oh losing memory on the gift card I mean on the SD card mm -hmm. I also got some Pandora charms and all right sorry I had to delete some memory off of my SD card but what was I saying we were talking about duty free food. oh yeah just period like <laughs> shopping products period so if it's a alcohol mm -hmm. that you like perfume bags. Any like especially and I specifically talk about luxury items because those cost them the most um, Buy them. Oh, I know what I was saying. I Got some new Pandora charms there. So I've started this new thing since our cruise um, <laughs> That I want to have like a Pandora cruise bracelet and um, Not cruise a Pandora travel, travel bracelet. bracelet. So I want to add little charms to it um I mean, I prefer though, but I'm I'm liking those types of souvenirs more and more outside of, you know, like a keychain or, you know, a hat is cool, t-shirt is cool, but a lot of times you end up getting rid of those types of things. And alongside our vlogs, I really feel like I would value something like the charms on a Pandora bracelet or something in that realm more um, to, mem to remember, you know, those good times. Yay. Yeah. Um, what else? So overall, <clears throat> how did you feel about our trip? I I definitely enjoyed the trip. Um, <gasps> did we tell them what happened? We have a very short story, guys. So I think I don't think I I don't think we mentioned it in the vlog. Okay, so y'all stay woke in the streets. Just cause travel. Albeit wonderful and fun and stuff, sometimes you just gotta like dot your eyes and cross your T's because you always want to be safe. Charles and I ended up in a situation that could have been bad, but because it, but it wasn't bad. Obviously, we're here, we're home, we're safe, we're safe, and I absolutely would go back to Mexico to where we were. But we had a little situation like in our room, so we had to swim out. Um, patio um, We didn't lock the door the first night we were there I actually didn't even know how to lock it, but it wasn't even a thought when we you know went to bed Somebody came in our room through those very doors Fortunately for us it was another resort guest who I think just got kind of turned around and They couldn't get in their room the conventional way so they were trying to go in through a patio but they got the wrong room my husband <laughs> i won't tell y'all the details of what he said but just know i really have he my was business. ready <laughs> <laughs> just say that. There was, he was <clears throat> i'm so but i'm so glad it was not a full-out situation but that poor guy was terrified um and hopefully he never forgot his room key ever again. <laughs> I'm not gonna say poor guy because that's, I get it, I understand. If on one side I get it, you may have been drunk, went to the wrong room, whatever the case. But let's be real, I couldn't make that mistake, right? So you gotta be on your point, you gotta be on point regardless. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that could have been translated a lot of different ways right and for me for that to happen to us we in mexico i don't know nobody on this resort except her <laughs> you know what i mean so, so I just, yeah. yeah so that was a very real moment and it was a little bit hard to go back to sleep after that because i think both of us were just kind of laying there thinking about what could have been and you know i don't want to end up a story on the news and neither does he but I want to make it back. We both want to make it back to our son. So, yeah. uh, so that was just a very real moment. And like I said, although it was um, in this instance, it was just another resort guest and mistaking his room, our room for his. 
like it just kind of put us on a bit more of a okay and you don't even be making them kind of mistake nope I, I you absolutely don't <laughs> like lock your doors lock every door that you're in especially because let's things mm -hmm. happen things when happen. you go out of the country yeah. um and people sometimes prey on tourists and yeah so just do your best to be vigilant vigilant one of those was the right way to say it. Oh, all all <laughs> Lock your doors, especially yeah. if you're traveling alone. You may even want to take even more precautions. Be careful. There are lots of TikToks, reels, blog articles that talk about Trevor Noir. I want to say on IG shares a lot of people's other people's tips on how to be safe when you are traveling so that was just kind of a wake-up call for us for whenever we travel like don't be taking it for granted don't be taking it for granted that everybody else out here to have a good time too because some people are literally preying on you and fortunately like i said thank god that was not the exact case for us but it really made us think oh yeah no can't make these mistakes again so yeah, we can't do that we can't do that got me on point yeah and if you the person coming in somebody's room, anyway, <laughs> just just don't do that. Yeah, take your key with you. Yeah, go just, to the just front go to desk. the door so you know your key. Go to the front desk number, because go to the front desk because he knew his room number too. Now our room numbers were not on the back of the patio so i don't know i just i really think he just got turned around still don't need to be doing that no but like i said so but ending on a more positive note what would you rate our experience like uh overall overall mm -hmm. one to ten i would say about a seven i would say a seven i'd say like a seven because it wasn't it wasn't all bad it was Overall, it was good to just be away for a minute. Oh, yes. To just be on vacation. Uh, we didn't get to see the beach like that, but we saw the pool. We had a, a dope pool. Swim mm -hmm. out. You know yeah, we had a really great pool. And, it was just and we swam in the cenote, so yeah, it was good still got away. some nature swim. Yeah. I'm, I agree with Chuck. I would say a seven. Things I would change. I would probably, I would probably not stay in that resort again, but what I recommend it to somebody else, yeah. You get a lot for your yeah, money yeah. staying there, period. It's a lot of stuff you can work around. In there. Right. And like I said, and for staying there, for having a swim up room, the price we pay, you're not going to get a lot of swim up rooms for that price. And Let we knew that. So that was part of the appeal. But um, I probably wouldn't stay there again. I would probably try somewhere else, which I really think you should try to stay different places when you travel, mm -hmm. especially if you go back somewhere. Oh, and the, the service, the customer service oh, in the hotel yes. was really good. Hey, one, the service, like, really good. they were super nice. Really good. Always greeting us on time. I mean, I would say the service in Mexico, period. Everybody yeah. was on time for everything. Mm -hmm. If they said they was picking you up at a certain time for excursions, you better be there because you're going to miss your ride because they coming to get you at this I'm time. I'm going to win early. Right. <laughs> and like I said, like Chuck said, the hotel customer service, even though the food wasn't that great, the wait staff, they brought everybody it nice, was, they brought yes, <laughs> everybody was super, super nice. It was and really good. That, that definitely helped to like overlook some of the things that we didn't like so much. Mm -hmm. So, but overall, I, I enjoyed it. I, I thought it was great to get away. Much needed. Uh, we probably would go to another hotel, try a different resort. Um, but I mean, for what we did, it was. It was and then good. we definitely I mean, booked this trip. I would call it last minute. Yeah, we just put something together. Yeah, cause we were like, we should go somewhere for our anniversary. Let's go. And we let's go. <laughs> and we booked it. So let's go on for a trip. <laughs> talk about my baby let's go yep all right guys that is the end of this video if you like this type of video or have you been to mexico comment down below let us know give us some feedback make sure you like comment and subscribe to our channel to see what adventures we are going on next because we are going on another adventure but pretty no, soon so yeah stay tuned and also i mean you know stay tuned for my other content because I'm excited for this part of the year. So, yeah. She is, because she's already started Christmas music. I never stopped Christmas music. I know, but it started back. You, you cranked it back up, and you said that you listened to it, and it made you very happy. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's coming, guys. It's coming. <laughs> Bye.